Hey everybody, and welcome to another Learning Statistics with Jamovi video. We are going to be doing, in this one, another non-parametric test. We are going to be doing the Wilcoxon either one sample or signed uh, paired rank or signed rank test, something like that. It's a rank test. <laughs> um, it's got a it's got a few few different names, but in but in both cases, we'll just call it the Wilcoxon test. Okay, we get a test statistic called W, hence Wilcoxon. So it's the Wilcoxon W. Okay, so this is for paired data. Paired data. Now you can do a Wilcoxon in two ways okay and this data set from the lsj folks the happiness data set happiness that you get from the data um library okay you got to add the module though make sure you do that adds the data set to your computer add, adds all the csvs to your computer so i opened that one happiness so we are going to compare the before and after happiness ratings okay um for 10 individuals okay before and after so we have before happiness scores after happiness scores and then we also have a variable that says change and I said there were two ways to do this Wilcoxon test. So functionally, and the output that you get from doing these two different ways will lead you to the same conclusion. Okay, as far as the numbers go, you know, it um it's going to change based on what you do. Okay, so we can do a paired samples Wilcoxon rank, which uh, ranks the before and after and gives you uh, W statistic, or you can do a one sample Wilcoxon test, and these are based on paired samples t test and one sample t tests. Paired samples Wilcoxon one sample Wilcoxon, and it's going to give you the same conclusion, not necessarily the same statistics, but it's going to be um, the same conclusion. Now, what is this thing that people are changing their happiness on from before and after a statistics class? Of course. So these 10 people got their happiness rank uh, measured before they took the stats class and then after they took the stats class. So let's do the one sample first and then let's do the paired samples because it's generally what I do. But these are both, again, Wilcoxon tests that do not matter in what you do, either the different score or you do the pairs by themselves. It really just depends on how you want to set it up to look like to, to, to look like uh, a t-test. Okay, so we go to t-tests. Again, we're going to do the one sample first, and we're going to put change in our dependent variables, but we're not going to do students t. We're going to do the rank test, and we don't need anything else because honestly, everything else you can look at t-test videos that I've done in the past. I've got like two or three t-test, Jamovi t-test videos, so you can look at that. And you can see a change score, our Wilcoxon W, our statistic, is seven. Okay. So this is how many times positive changes are related to all differences, okay? And so you end up with a test statistic of seven times. We reject the null hypothesis when W is very large or very small. Very large or very small, okay? It's pretty simple. You get seven, you compare that seven to a known distribution of W, and you get a p-value with a sample of 10 of 0.037. That 0.037? It's significant because it's less than 0.05. So that is to say, taking a statistics class does have an effect on your happiness. Less happy. Less happy. I'll say it again. Less happy. <laughs> now, if we did this as a paired samples t-test, we're going to do before to after. That's how we set that up. And let's get our Wilcoxon and there. Now, the statistic, again, is going to be slightly different than our 7 because this is a single variable. And here we have two variables compared to one another in a matrix. Okay, so before all of the positive differences compared to all differences, and then the after, all of the positive differences compared to all differences. It's a lot. And so we get a test statistic of 48. But of course, the p-value doesn't change. And that's because the data that created the change variable exists in the before compared to the after. Again, we don't have any reason to sus suspect that this is not a significant relationship because p is 0.037, less than 0.05, your happiness does go down if you take a stats class. Hey, but um, anyways, that's how you do Wilcoxon rank tests, either one sample or paired samples in Jamovi. Please leave your comments, suggestions, questions, and feedback down below. Thank you for watching. Bye.